any minute now, we might get a major announcement out of Israel overseas, with the world watching to see what exactly rivals of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu might do before a deadline, midnight there, to agree on and put together a new government. So they've got just like seven hours left. And if and when in those seven hours this all happens today, the finest final hurdle to unseat Netanyahu, who, by the way, is Israel's longest serving leader, would be for the Israeli parliament to vote on it and approve it before the new government and the new prime minister is sworn in. NBC's Kelly Kobiea is live in Tel Aviv for us. Um, Kelly, like gut check, reality check, right? Like how close are we? How close is this coalition to a deal and how might this play out? The coalition is closer to a deal. This morning, we woke up to news here that Benny Gantz, the current defense minister under uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government, joined the coalition. His party is on board. That is new today. Couple of parties still holding out, but we understand these are smaller issues. These aren't expected to block this coalition, and they're confident that they're going to come to a deal by that midnight deadline tonight. So what happens once they do? Well, they'll go to the Israeli president. This is a figurehead role. Reuven Rivlin is the president. They will tell him either by phone or by a letter that they have the support to form a government. At that point, a date will be set in the Israeli parliament for a confidence vote. That date is likely to be next Wednesday, but it could be later than that. Next Wednesday is the date that everybody's pointing to. Uh, when they have that vote, they have to get a majority for it to pass. Simple majority of the uh, members of parliament who are sitting that day. If it passes, the government's in place. They'll be sworn in. Next Wednesday, Israel could have a new prime minister. If it fails, the most likely scenario is that Israel will be going through yet another election, the fifth in two years. So two names, we're, we're still a little ways off from that, but two names to remember if we get to that point. This is a coalition between a centrist party led by Yair Lapid. He's a former TV host and author. And um, Naftali Bennett, he's a former ally of Netanyahu's. He was his chief of staff, his defense minister at one point. He's part of this coalition, too. Those two will be sharing the prime minister position with Naftali Bennett as the prime minister for the first two years, and then Yair Lapid for the next two. A lot to take in, I know, and we're still a couple of steps away from that. We'll keep an eye on it, Hallie. It is a lot. Kelly Kobiea, live for us there in Tel Aviv. Uh, Kelly, thank you. And I know we're going to be uh, counting down the, the hours now, the, the, the dwindling hours now until that deadline. Appreciate it.